Hi, you two. Well, welcome back to our first lesson of art after half term. I hope you had a really good half term. Hope you had loads of rest and time to do all the things that you wanted to do. So let's have a look at what we're going to be doing this half term. We are going to be focusing on printmaking. And the really cool thing about printmaking is we can do loads and loads of prints. You don't just have to do one picture, but you can keep on repeating images. That's one exciting thing about printing. So today, we're going to need some materials. Now, if you're at home, uh, if you've picked up one of the art packs today, then you will have some sugar paper inside it. So that's our paper there, we need sugar paper. Or if you're at home and you haven't picked up a pack, it can be any paper at all. Uh, I've just put sugar paper in the pack because it's nice and easy to use. We need a pencil, we need some scissors. If you're at school, you need your sketchbook. If you're at home, you need some paper to print on. And uh, if you've picked up an art pack, then you will have some cartridge paper in there the A4 cartridge paper, the smaller one, I think. Um, you will need some green paint. Acrylic paint is fantastic. If not, any other ready mix paint. It doesn't have to be green if you don't have any green. We're gonna use green in school and in your packs, but if you've got other colors, that's absolutely fine to experiment with today. And we need a brush or two. Now, we don't necessarily need a water pot because actually we want to keep our paint nice and dry. And if we mix paints today, um, because you could use more, more than one colour if you choose to, we'll think about that in, in a little bit, um, then you could mix up your colours um, with your paintbrush. You don't really need to wash your brush in between because it might make your paint too watery and then it won't come out really the way we want it to. Okay, so if you're at school, turn to your next clean side. It doesn't have to be next clean page, although if actually in school, um, year two, turn to your next clean double page because then you'll have more room and you could use two pages if you want to. If you only have a single page, you won't be able to turn over the page because the paint will be wet. So perhaps open up to a double page, that would be excellent. Um, just write a title um, as we've got here, printmaking. Now, if you're at home, you can use stencils if you have them to write your title, or you could just use your beautiful handwriting, printmaking. Okay, so we are going to try two new types of printmaking. We're going to try positive prints and negative prints. Okay, now I just want you to think for what do you think is the difference between a positive print and a negative print? We've got our countdown going there. What is the difference? Have a little think. Chat to someone at home if you need to. Positive print and a negative print. What's the difference? Okay. Well, we've had time to think about that. So talk to someone next to you. What do you think is the difference between a positive and a negative print? Okay, now you may have had lots of ideas. You might not have any ideas. Let's have a bit more of a think about it and this will help us understand. The clue, we've got a picture here. One of them is a positive print and one of them is a negative print of a leaf. So which one do you think just keep it in your head. Which one is positive? Which one do you think we might say is a positive print? And which one do you think we might say is a negative print? Okay, so we're talking about two types of prints, positive and negative. Now let's have a think. We've already uh, had a look at our pictures. And what is the difference between a positive and a negative print? These, the way these two words are presented on the screen gives you a clue. And so did that picture before. Hmm. What do we think it is? Okay, let's have a look. We'll find out our answers and see if you were right. Let's say the first word, positive. It means, in terms of printing, to create an image that is filled in with colour. So if you look at the stencil there in the picture, 
it's got holes in the stencil. So if we fill that in with paint and then take the stencil away, it's going to make an image, a picture of a leaf that is filled in with colour. And we call that one a positive print. If we use the word in a sentence, we could say, Lynette, who I'm sure is doing her artwork at home because she always does, used paint and an open stencil like the one in the picture to create a beautiful positive print. So if we go back to our other picture, the one that is positive is the one that you can see on the right hand side, this one here. That, the one that looks like a filled in leaf, that is the positive print. So let's think about the next word, negative. It means in terms of printing, to create an image that is visible because it is not coloured against a coloured background. The image is missing. So a positive print is filled in, a negative print is missing. Let's put it in a sentence. Isla stroked outwards with her brush around her stencil to create an interesting negative image. So you can see in that picture that those leaves, we can see them, but we can see them because they're missing. The background is coloured, but the leaves aren't. You can see the difference between one that is missing and one that is filled in. Well, we are going to make our own stencils first to enable us to create our own positive and negative prints. I'll show you how to do it. And when we do it, we need to save both pieces of our stencil, the bit we cut out and the bit that is left. We need both. Let's have a look at how to do it. Now that we've made our stencils, if you're in school, teachers, and if you've run out of time, then save this next bit for next week. But if you have time, we're going to use our stencils, and at home you might have time to do that. So, to, in order to create a positive print, we are going to stipple from the inside out, or stroke 
from the outside in. I'll show you what stippling means in a minute and stroking. For our negative prints, we are going to stipple or stroke from the outside, from the inside, sorry, out. For our negative stencils, we're gonna stipple or stroke from the inside to the outside. Now, I'm sure that sounds all very complicated, but let's see it in action and it will make complete sense. <laughs> 